What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 3 video. In this one, we are essentially just going to be continuing on the main story and see exactly where that leads us as a whole. So if that's something you are interested in, do me a huge favor and drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, let's get on with this video. Alright, let's go ahead and get on out of here. Because I think... Okay, hold on. Uh, we have to go... We're doing the uh, Waters of Life. We should probably do Blood Ties at some point too just to get that over with. Because uh, I think this is a DLC. This is a DLC. That's a potentially a DLC. I don't remember. Uh, and I know this one for sure is DLC. So these last four are DLC. That means I only have two other than the main story. So... Uh, go to Rivet City. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do Blood Ties and just get that over with. Um, I think that's probably going to do for today. Um, that way we just get over, you know, over with it or whatever. That way it's just not hanging over our shoulders like that. We did it a while ago for this channel, but uh, I ended up resetting the game. Pretty much. And, or restarting the game. And... Oh, God. Oh. Oh, God. That's what you get. Even though my aim was shoddy at best. Alright, come on, baby. Ow. Alright, you know what? I'm switching camera views. Those landmines literally scared the living dog shit out of me. I'm not even gonna lie. They gotta have this freaking rifle though. This rifle is really good. Is that somebody else up there? It is. Let's see if I can get him from here. Oh, Kobe! Woo, that was... Uh-oh. Can you please die? Thank you. I don't even think I'm going the right way, to be honest. It's all good, though, because we could literally just destroy random people. Actually, you know what? I could probably use that frag grenade, can I? This dude literally got destroyed. Oh, he, there was a sniper rifle up here. I don't need it, so I won't take it. Why is there so many people up here? Oh, hello. Um, here, let's, uh, let's get you once in the head, and let's get you, my friend, once in the head, or twice, just in case I missed the first one. Just like that. Disgusting. He's the headless raider now. Where'd he go? He's not even looking at me. <laughs> oh, these raiders are funny. Alright, come on. I want to take all of you guys out. Don't throw stuff, dude. Have anybody ever told you that throwing stuff at people is extremely rude? Bam! Just like that. Alright, let's destroy this last guy. Um, yeah, let's just get him in the freaking chest. You right there, bro? You're looking a little red. Is that everybody? Did I just destroy everybody? Seriously, there's no beds up here. Like, how do they sleep? I don't know. I just don't know. Raiders are... Unique creatures, aren't they? Alright, let's make our way over to Arafu. Luckily, we know exactly where to go when it comes to Arafu. Like, when it gets to the point where we have to, like, find, uh, the people, the, I won't ruin it. We know where to go. So, let's make our way over there. And see what ends up happening. Hopefully we get the same, I need to remember what, 
choices I made basically so that we can uh, get the same outcome that we did before but who knows Fallout is very weird if you don't choose the right thing you get a comp you could potentially get um it's a good thing I like that but like you could completely get a, com uh, a completely different um, outcome for some of the decisions you've made would I die if I fall down here no good cut off a little bit of time off my travel because you never know what's gonna actually I think that bridge right there that my markers on my cross my cross point or whatever I think that's Arafu what is that oh it's a freaking rad scorpion Die, you wrote, you freaking thing. I don't like your kind around here. So, I've been thinking. I kind of want to, this is kind of like completely random to everything. I've really been thinking that uh, I kind of want to play Dark Souls once this, uh, the main story. Alright, so, right now I'm playing Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas both at the same time right when i finish the storyline for both i'm essentially going to be alternating back and forth so i'll be doing a dlc between uh fallout 3 and once that dlc is complete i'm gonna do a the dlc another dlc for uh new vegas and once that's done it's gonna go back to fallout 3 and it's just gonna alternate back and forth until it's completely done and that way it just frees up one slot for a game for for me to play here on the channel and in turn i think i want to play dark souls um dark souls is a game that's like i everything about dark souls i love i love the entire concept about dark souls however i've never actually beat dark souls it's 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 something that i've always had a little bit of trouble getting into like the actual gameplay, uh, not that it's difficult or anything like that, not in that way, it's just, uh, yeah, I, admittingly it's probably because it's old, but it's, uh, it feels very clunky to me, and I like very smooth gunplay, of course, I could make that same argument with Fallout 3, though, and Fallout New Vegas, because it is pretty clunky, uh, but I've always just been into the whole lore behind Fallout, you know what I mean, so I think that kind of makes it easier for me to get into, Whereas Dark Souls is very abstract and a little hard to get into, but I do want to still play it regardless. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I, I really do want to play Dark Souls though, uh, and hopefully I get a better experience while I'm doing it for you guys here on the channel. Oh. Who the hell just shot me? Oh, you? He juked me. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh, dude, I'm in danger. Oh, no, not in danger. Uh, Alright, fuck that. I'm leaving. We made it to Arafu. Talk to Vance, or whatever his name was. It really didn't take that long to get here, huh? Would I be able to get him from here? Eh, maybe, but not really. Ooh -hoo! All right, I think we could put away our weapon for now. Let's talk to this guy. Maybe he's got something good to, for sale. Hi. No, wait, come here. Stop fleeing, you coward. Oh, dog me. Dog me, you scared the hell out of me, bro. Alright, since that guy's running away. Yeah, we're gonna try to rush through this mission so we can continue on with the main storyline. Well, rush as much as I could rush, right? It's not like I can go very fast. <laughs> this game is very particular. I still wish that it had a, a means to fast travel, though. Oh! Hang on, you're not one of them. I nearly blasted you in two. Yeah, I should have put Get one between your eyes. Spot you. 
All right, what's up, bro? Now, what the hell are you doing all the way out here? Um, that's my business. Thank you. Um, but I have this letter for the West family. That's great, but I got bigger problems than being the town post office right now. <laughs> the shit's about to hit the fan in this cesspool, and I don't think I can stop them. Uh, what kind of trouble? Well, at first, they do their typical gang bullshit. You know, break stuff and make lots of noise. But they always kept their distance. But this last time, they went too far. They killed all of our Brahmin. I mean, that's our lifeblood out here, you know. Oh, uh, so what's got you spooked? Let's see if I pass this. Yay! Uh, look, you can call me crazy if you want. But there is something odd about those creeps. I mean, they got the guns and they got the muscle. Why don't they just bust down our doors and take us out already? We're really in a bad way and could use some help. Um, I'll gladly help. Uh, what do you need? I don't want to take my eyes off the ramp here. There's no telling when the family will return. Can you do me a favor and check on the other people's houses here? You know, make sure they're doing okay? Speak with Davis West, Karen Shenzi, and Ken Ewers. All right, yeah, uh, no worries. Um, where do you think I can find the family? I think they live somewhere east or northeast of here. Problem is, they always travel in the dark, so I can't see exactly where they go. There's all kinds of places they could be hiding, like Hamilton's Hideaway, the old Moonbeam Cinema, or Northwest Seneca Metro Station. All right, cool. Well, let's go uh, Just talk to watch these people. Yourself. I've got an itchy trigger finger. Dude, don't ever threaten me again. You got that? You got that. That's what I thought. Hello? Hello? Is this the mailman? Oh, I do hope my fall catalog has arrived. <laughs> She's so dumb. <laughs> uh... What are you talking about? Evan King sent me. Oh, Evan. He's such a gentleman. Please, do come inside. Let me unlock the door for you. Well, she's very uh, trusting, isn't she? Hey, what the hell are you it's doing me. in here? Get the Old fuck president. out. John. Uh, first of all, your wife let me in. Gotcha. Something about a catalog? Oh, for the How's love of... Look, doing? she's dumber than a bag of hammers, okay? If you to want to talk to anyone, me. you need to talk to me. So and what the fuck do you want? Man, Chill the hell out, bro. Fuck. Evan King sent me to check on you. Is everything okay? Today's We're great. Episode, Just peachy. I love sitting in my man. house with my thumb up my ass. Tell Mr. King that sitting here all day isn't going to make us any safer. We need uh, to take action. No all right. Later. Looks like that's the last of them, boss. Uh, did that satisfy the quest? It was really loud in there and I couldn't really hear. So yeah, check on the sure residence. Ewers residence. Now let's check on this family. Knock on the door. Yes. Who is it? It is, um... Sure, why not? Evan King sent me. Can I come in? Oh, he did? Well, it's about damn time he did something. Come on in. I'll unlock the door. Let's see what these guys want. It's Hello. It's nice to see a friendly new face around here. It's been a long time. The name's Karen Shenzi. I thought you were Sunny Smiles. But anyways, um, Evan King told me to check on you. Is everything okay? Scared out of my mind. I'm glad he's checking on us, but until someone nips the problem in the bud, we may as well stay inside forever. Alright, thank you. I'm sure. not going through these guys' Go. dialogues because we've... Just like everyone else. Oh, shut up, dude. <laughs> I'm not going to go through these guys' uh, entire dialogue tree because we already did that in the last time we did it, it in, did this mission. Alright, so... There's nothing else on this corpse. Wait, to indicate what? Uh, what happened? Maybe in here? No. Sleep. Sure, I'll just sleep in a freaking room full of dead bodies. Why not? Seems healthy, right? Dog meat, get out of my way, bro. Fuck. Alright, let's go. 
How the hell did a freaking rad scorpion get up here? Let's take out its stinger. Dog meat, finish him. What the fuck? I thought dog meat literally flew off the freaking thing. I was about to cry. Um, hey, talk to me. What did they tell you? Everyone okay? Nope, everyone is dead as hell. Let's see here. Um, did you know the West are dead? The family must have gotten to them in the last attack. Wrong. Bitches. Damn it. If only we had more men, we could stand up to them. I'm sick of them terrorizing this town. Wait a minute. When you searched the West's place, did you find their son Ian's body? Awfully specific. I only found the parents. This has to be the work of the family. I've caught that weirdo leader of theirs talking to Ian down by the river. Look, I know I've asked a lot of you already, but you have to find that kid. He deserves better than all this. Don't worry, I'll figure out what happened to the West. Thanks, kid. You're all right. Later. Next time I see the family, there's going to be hell to pay. Um, if you say so, guy. All right, so we got to go. All right, what's the... What's the first place that we need to go? To? Or, well, the, literally the only place. Uh, Seneca Station. Alright. First things first, I gotta get down there, don't I? Shouldn't be too difficult to get there. It's not that far, as a matter of fact. Well, what happened to that one uh, coward guy that was running away? His Brahmin's still here. Don't tell me he abandoned his Brahmin. Let's go around this way. Kind of seems like he did, though. All right, let's check this one more time. All right, it's literally... It should be this one right over here. Yep. So let's go. Dog meat, handle my lightweight, bro. Thank you. Wait a minute. That didn't sound... Very nice. Oh, shit. Holy fuck, dog meat. You almost died, bro. A poochie can't go against that big ass thing. Or can he? I don't know. I guess I underestimate the power of dog meat, right? Let's go, dog meat. Don't you drown now. You better not drown. I need you. I need you in my life, dog meat. You're special to me. Alrighty, let's see here. Um. It should be right around this town area, if I remember correctly. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure, I'm fairly confident it's here. Alright, let's go ahead and put this away so we can run faster. My sexy ass combat armor. Yo, yeah, it's right there and that's the train, or that's the, uh, metro station or whatever. That's exactly where I need to go. All right, let's go. Come on, dog meat. We got murderers to find. Speaking of murder, someone killed this dude. I'll take both of those. Thank you very much. You've been so kind. You're not, not here to try and steal my secrets, are you? Uh, no. Good. I was afraid I was going to have to abandon my lab here. That would mean starting all over again. It's not easy trying to make Ultra Jet, you know. Ultra Jet? Is that like a super chem? I suppose you could say that. Ultra Jet is almost double the potency of Jet. Perfect for ghouls. Jet barely affects us, you see. Only trouble is, it's almost impossible to gather the ingredients together. Say, you might be able to help me with that. Yeah, sure, what do you need? It takes three things to make Ultra Jet. Two of the ingredients I got plenty of. 
The other one is a little harder to find. Sugar bombs. I distill it down to its base contents and add that to the formula, then presto, ultra jet. For every box of sugar bombs you bring me, I'll pay you 15 caps. So, you in? Uh, let's see if we can do this. Make it 30 caps, you got yourself a deal, old man. Nope. Damn it. It's 15 each. You want to do it or what? Yeah, sure, why not? Good. Now get going. I have a ton of preparation to do. Yeah, your mission is, uh, not very high on my priority list, bro. Right in here. Oh, God. Um... Let me uh, switch camera views because uh, this it's very tight in here. Oh, my alerts! Die! How do you triple a face? I don't know. I just don't know. Donskis, bro. Is that it? Oh god. Oh god. Don't kill me. Dogmeat, are you okay? Eh, yeah, you're fine. We won't be fine. Oh god, if I uh, fall for that trick. Alright, which way is it? I'm gonna guess this way. Come on, dog meat. Oh, fuck me. Ah, I saw you. Disarm. I got scared for a second. Wait, who's this guy? Robert. Did Downey Jr.? Whoa, whoa, slow down there. This area is off limits to everyone but the family. Where oh. the hell do you think you're going? Found him. Uh, I really need to get, uh, need to get by you. It's important. Uh, okay, let's see if we can find, or if we can pass this. Yes. All right, all right. I guess you look harmless enough. If I were you, I'd speak to Vance before you poke around too much. You can usually find him on the mezzanine overlooking the common area. Thanks, Iron Man. See you later. Just remember, I got my eyes on you. We all do. Don't you threaten me, Iron Man. Is this all marked for, uh, yeah, damn it. Shut up, man. Hold on, where is it? Is it, okay, it's this way. Let's go. Modesto Station. Um. All right, he's upstairs. These guys are creepy as hell, dude. I'm not even gonna lie to you. They're like literal, real-life uh, vampires. So we're gonna, you we're gonna have to read that terminal. But it's gonna be the same story. We're rushing through this one, so we're literally just going to uh, click until we pass. Welcome to Mar Welcome Hi. to our home. My people call me Vance. I lead this group of weary travelers and outcasts who need a home. And to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? Um, This place is very different from any other settlement I've seen. What you see before you is the last bastion of hope for the downtrodden and misunderstood. It is a sanctuary for the oppressed and a beacon of faith for the tyrannized. Uh, continue? We are the remnants of society, cast aside like the clean-picked bones of a hunter's feast. I led my flock beneath the sun-baked sands of the wasteland to keep them safe and teach them my ways. Men of science would call us cannibals, eaters of human flesh. Society labels us as monsters, demons, and the unclean. Uh... Let's see if I pass this. None of this talk is necessary. I know exactly what you are. I am afraid that the Damn knowledge it. required to appreciate our true nature is far above your level of comprehension. But you're a vampire. Um, so you're reforming these people? Ah, your words illustrate why the hardships persist for my people. 
Reforming implies something is wrong with them and needs to be eliminated. I think of my teachings as more of an improvement, a way to transcend our cannibalistic nature. Uh, so if I accept that you're no longer cannibals, what exactly do I call you? Your open-mindedness is very rare for a human. I find that fascinating. Allow me to bolster your insight with a lesson in objectivity. I say we are no longer cannibal, only consuming the blood of our prey. What would that make us in your eyes? <laughs> uh, <laughs> creepy weirdos. Um, sure, I have no idea. And that is a mystery you will have to solve on your own. In ceremony, each member of the family must speak one of the laws. It is theirs to remember and to enforce. Perhaps from these laws you can discover what we are. Return to me when you are ready. Okay. I mean, I don't really have to because I know exactly what they are. But sure, why not? Uh, first five laws. All right, first law, thank you. Second law, thank you. Oh, crap. Third law, thank you. Fourth law, thank you. And fifth law. I wonder if going that fast works. Let's see, did that update anything? Alright, well, I read it. Alright. Let's see here. Hi. You wish to speak to me again? Of course. I think I finally understand what you people are. Indeed. Tell me what you've learned from the laws. What do you think we are? Aliens. Uh... You're vampires. Or at least you follow their fictional traditions. Do you think I believe I can turn into a bat and fly away? Yes. Of course not. Do I cast my image in a mirror? Absolutely. Of course. Now, ask me if I believe these individuals from every corner of the wasteland need me to give them a sense of purpose and identity. I have shown these people the ways of the vampire. I've provided them shelter, organization, and a sense of belonging. Um, you do this by teaching their f mythical beings. All right. Now you disappoint me. Damn it! You need to open your mind and think for a moment before you pass judgment. I have reined in their cravings and taught them to eat not of the flesh, but to drink of the blood. Most importantly, they have a family. A place where their quirks are tolerated and understood. Um, if you say so, but I've been searching for a young man named Ian West. Ah, yes. My newest charge. What would you want with him? He's the homeboy, man. I just want to, you know, visit the homeboy. Uh, but no, I have a letter from his sister. Then a part of his human family still remains? Even more of a reason he needs to remain in isolation. Ian is at a critical moment in his life right now. After all that occurred in Erafu. He is scared and confused. It would be ill-advised for me to allow you to speak to him while he decides what he wants to do. So wait, what happened? Ian's hunger for flesh overwhelmed him. It drove him to kill his parents. Because of my intervention that night, he stopped just short of being lost forever to his cravings for flesh. Gasp! So you're telling me that he's a cannibal? Uh... I am telling you, he will no longer be labeled as such. He has become one of us, a member of the family. The hunger that drives us must be kept in check. It is one of the most difficult things to teach. Ian lost control because no one was around to guide him. His own family was alien to him. I knew they were aliens. Uh, this letter, okay. Let me talk to him. Yes! Your words impress me, human. Perhaps I misjudged you when we first met. If you wish to speak to Ian, you are free to do so. Here is the code to the area in which he is meditating. Thank you. Let's get Ian the hell out of this place. Alright, uh... Should be in this room. I believe I need that. Yes, I do. Alright, let's go. OMG. There we go. 
Shut up, guy. Uh, what do you want? Uh, hey, I've been looking for you. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. I bet he has the entire town out looking for me. He's worse than my parents. Um, not in the way you think. Uh, I'm sorry, Ian, but your parents are dead. Well, even though he knows... Oh, well, yeah, he knows that. You think I don't know that? You think I don't know what I did? I know what you did. Vance told me everything. Then you must think I'm some kind of a monster. Look. Uh, look, Ian. I know loss, too. I know it hurts. But staying here isn't the answer. There's something inside me. Something completely messed up. I'm a mutant. A fucking freak. The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy, and she's gone. No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? But... Uh... Let's see if I can pass this. Let's go home, Ian. The only way to beat your nightmares is to face them. You know, for a second Yay. there, you sounded just like Vance. And you're right. I don't know what I'm running away from, but given time, maybe things can go back to the way they used to be. Please tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see you there as well. I'm just gonna gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then I'll head on back. Wait, hold on, I wanna give you the letter. I wanted to thank you one last time for what you've done for me. My brain feels like less of a mess now. I think I may be seeing clearly for the first time in years. Don't worry about me. I've been through a lot, but I think I'm gonna be okay. That's good, but I have so uh fuck me. I can't even give him to him. Alright, I know it's painful, but let's talk about what happened in Arfu. It actually kinda makes me feel better to talk about it. Go ahead. Uh what did you do to your parents? I wish I could answer that. I really do. I don't even remember it happening. When the hunger takes over, it's like being pushed aside, like something else is controlling me. I can see what's happening, but can't close my eyes. I don't even remember exactly what happened until Vance knocked on the door. Um, how did Vance know you were one of them? That's the weird thing. He has some sort of crazy sixth sense about or something. Maybe all of our kind do. As soon as I was with the family, I really felt at home for the first time in my life. It's like all these people are my real brothers and sisters. Uh, that's interesting. Kind of seems now that maybe he did didn't do it he doesn't remember and Vance for some reason knew everything about it uh, how did you end up leaving Arfu I don't remember how long I sat there on the floor staring at my parents bodies it seemed like days I wanted to feed to eat their flesh but it was like a little bit of me was holding on then out of nowhere there was shouting outside and a knock at the door I opened it and it was Vance he seemed to know exactly how I was feeling inside he took me under his arm and we left. I never looked back. Huh. I saw the family's mark on the wall. What's up with that? Vance told me later that he was basically covering for me and allowing the family to... to feed at the same time. Since my parents were already dead, they drank their blood and left the mark on the wall. He didn't want Evan to suspect that I had done it. The irony is they were stalking our town to feed anyway. It's almost like Vance knew this would happen that's uh very interesting yeah okay I think Vance did it uh, would you mind if I ask you uh, about your unusual hunger I suppose not oh uh, when did you first discover you had the hunger I was about 10 years old and I was playing with Lucy down under the overpass we loved throwing rocks in the water we saw some wastelander trying to break open the Brahmin pens and steal one of them so I ran over and told him to stop he just laughed and pushed me away. When I fell, suddenly my head started to hurt, and my eyes got all blurry. It was almost like I blacked out. Next thing I know, Lucy was pulling me off the guy. I had ripped his throat open with my teeth. Uh, what did Lucy, uh, what did Lucy say when she saw you, uh, do that to the Wastelander? She said I, like, changed into another person, that I even glared at her and raised my arms like I was gonna kill her. The Wastelander took a swing at me with some kind of club. I turned around and jumped on him. I tore his throat open with my teeth. Ow. If he wouldn't have done that, Lucy may have been killed too. I just don't know. It just sounds like he was burning... Like, it just sounds like burning rage, not a hunger. Did you ever talk to your parents about it? 
Lucy said mom and dad would never have understood. She told me to keep what I did a secret, and that she'd try and help me. Thanks to Lucy, she was able to stop that from ever happening again, for years. Every time I'd feel the hunger, she'd hold on to me and not let go. After a while, the hunger almost seemed to go away, until, well... Yeah, it just sounds like an anger. Uh, do you really believe in vampires? I don't know, I really don't. I mean, I'm not totally dumb. I know they were in stories and all that. But who knows, maybe Vance is right and vampires were just people like us who learned to control their hunger and drink only blood. I mean, vampires are regarded as feared monsters instead of hunted animals like cannibals. Kind of makes sense. All right, let's talk about yeah, something else. Okay. And by that, I mean I have to go. Yeah, uh, goodbye. Um, it kind of sucks that I couldn't give him the letter. How can I deliver the message? I probably have to go back to uh, Arafu and do it that way when he goes over there. I hope at least. It's the least I can do, Vance. Be quiet, lady. I gotta talk to him. I trust your talk with young Ian went well. Absolutely. I am quite interested in learning the results of your discussion. Did he come to a decision? Absolutely, he did. Uh. Before I talk about Ian, there's still a matter of Arafu to discuss. As long as you maintain this level of civility, please proceed. Um. Alright, so. Uh, vampires can drink any kind of human blood, even from blood packs. Curious. Many years ago, I survived by drinking from fresh blood packs I recovered from hospital ruins. The problem was that these blood packs were scarce. What do you propose? Um... Our food donates uh, blood packs, and in exchange you protect them. Agreed. Please, take this proposal to Arafu. Speak with them, and then return to me with their decision. I thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. It is a lesson I will not forget. Now, what of young Ian? Tell me his decision. He decided to murder all of you. Uh, he decided to leave the family. It saddens me to lose one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. I hope you will be more successful. Please, I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather educational. Eh, if you say hello so. There, stranger. Well, hello there. All right, so return to Evan King. I still haven't delivered Lucy's message. Um, let's try to talk to him one more time. Well, we're gonna have to come back anyways. So let's go. Oops. <laughs> let's go try to talk to. Uh, we'll try to talk to him when we come back. But for now, let's go ahead and make our way on out of here. I wish I could fast travel from inside buildings like you can in Fallout 76, but nope. Alright, um, alright, it's this way. Oh, there goes Robert Downey Jr. Oh, it's you again. Well, hello there. What's up? Oh, God. He listens to some weird music. Alright, should be right around here. And then I just turn right. Perfect. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Dog meat, you moron. Did you seriously step on that? Come on, dog meat. I'll get you out of here before you end up killing yourself. I would cry, actually. I don't want dog meat to die. I need him. All these mylorks and stuff, man. That's crazy. Wait a minute. Um. Did I make a wrong turn or something? Oh, right here. Get out of the way. Move. I don't want to die here. Um. Alright. Bingo. And we're out of here. 
Alright, let's bring this up and fast travel to Arafu. Uh, Evan King, I need to talk to you, sir. Come here. There you go. There he is, the hero of the day. First of all, how the hell do you know about anything that just happened? It's done, Evan. The family will never bother you again. I know. I talked to Ian, and he told me everything you did. I don't know how you did it, but goddamn am I glad you walked up that ramp and lent us a hand. Thanks again, kid. Consider yourself welcome back here any time you're in this part of the Wastes. Um, I have a proposal f uh, for you from Vance, the family's uh, leader. Interesting. It seems they wish to enter into some kind of agreement. I guess it's better than pointing my gun down that ramp all day and hiding inside at night. Let Vance know he's got a deal. We'll do it. I'll speak to the others. I'm sure they'll agree with me. All right. Uh, later. Come on back soon. All right, so I got this. Speech is at 46. Huh. I wonder... Let's put this into speech, I guess. Although energy weapons would come in handy too, though. We'll put it six. Yeah, fuck it. Um, let me see what else can I get. Well, finesse would come in handy, right? Finesse would come in handy. Uh, even mysterious stranger would be pretty cool. What do I need for a strong back? I'm gonna put it into finesse. I'm pretty sure finesse is probably more handy. All right, let's go. Thank you, thank you. If he already spoke to Ian, that means Ian is probably in the house already. So let's go and see if we could potentially talk to Ian. Wait, who lives in here? Oh, that's Evan King's house. There he is. Oh, look, and no more dead bodies. Hello. Thanks for setting me straight on everything. Uh, how are things going? It's weird living in my parents' old house with them gone. But I'll make the best of it. Everyone around here is being nice to me despite what happened, so I guess it all turned out well. Thanks. Anytime, man. Uh, I have a letter from your sister, Lucy. She, she really misses being home, and she's asked about me in here a lot. You have no idea how much this means to me. Thanks so much. Anytime, man. He gave me something. Let's see what Sounds he gave good. me. Sounds good. Come back in business. Oh, actually, he didn't give me anything. He just took away the letter. All right, so let's go back to the Seneca Station. Well, now. Oh, if God. If it isn't the little saint from the vault. Yep. We've been looking for you. Someone's put quite a price on your head. What? You think you can walk around the wasteland doing the things that you do and there isn't going to be someone who takes notice? Such a shame. I hear that you could have been something useful. Ah, well. Time to die. Dude, you're gonna die first. First of all, so I'm not allowed to be a good guy? How about you, uh... Fuck off. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're done, skis, bro. Nice try. Now let's take care of your homeboys. For that. There you are. Dude, your head is about to go pop, bro. Oh, there was another guy down here? No, not dog meat. Get out of the way, dog meat. I need to get old bo homeboy right here. No, no. Give me his head. There we go. Boom! Now I'll be taking your combat armor and ammo so that I can repair my stuff. Thank you very much. I don't think it needs repair, but I'll take it anyways just for the hell of it. Private kill, Amerigamer, sure, why not? Let me take that and repair my armor. Uh, combat armor. I'll take, I'll just keep, can I repair anything? No. 
All right, I'll keep that last one just until I take more damage. Oh wait, I have to. I have to go down here. I think, right? Where am I? Uh, world map. Yep, Northwest Seneca. All right, let's go talk to this dude really quick, and then we'll go talk to Lucy, and complete the mission because I think that's what we got left. To Oh, no, we don't. But we're going to go there anyways and talk to Lucy. Make sure that she is... She's got some peace of mind. Oh, um, back. Nope. Good. Not for you. <laughs> Deuces, homie. Get out of my way, dog meat. Alright, where am I? Uh, There we go, this way. Gotta get my bearing sometimes, because... Uh, it can get pretty confusing in these old caves sometimes. Climbing up. Oh, God. Woo! I'm pretty sure this is the way. And I should be able to see Robert Downey Jr. here shortly. Yeah, this is his little guard post, which is great. Where is Robert Downey Jr.? Oh, he's sleeping. You're supposed to be a guard, bro. Having only one person here is honestly not enough, man. There needs to be some sort of a rotation. Alright. Where is Mr. Vance? Looks like there's probably going to be some sort of... Uh... Wait, is that Vance right here? Thanks again for straight. Hi, Vance. Always a pleasure to receive you in Maresti. What brings you down here today? Uh, so they accepted your proposal. Excellent. I knew you would serve as an ambassador for us in good faith. I will dispatch Alan to Arafu immediately to help serve as their guardian and honor my end of the agreement. Your efforts surpass those of the average human. In fact, I feel almost like you are a member of our flock. Ha! If nope. you ever wish to learn our ways, you have but to ask. Um. I'm curious, what is this do? The is a life commitment. It is not achieved by my words. It is something you earn by your own will and sincere meditation. Sadly, I cannot fully make you one of us. But I can teach you how the lifeblood of others brings us regenerative powers. Since your body lacks the way to extract blood as we do, you must find alternative sources for your nourishment. Drink deep of the blood. Allow not a drop to spill. Feel the warmth as it spreads inside you. You are becoming one with the life force of another. They lend a part of themselves to you. For a brief moment, you are two entities becoming one. Allow the feelings to course through your body as you partake of the blood. Feel it empower you and make you stronger. Once you have done this deed, only then will you know what it is like to be a vampire. Oh shit, I got a new perk. Uh, teachings is granted the ability to regain 20 HP from the consumption of blood packs. Oh, dude, that's pretty good. Later. Cool. So now blood packs do more for me. That was actually worth it. I'm getting all kinds of perks, aren't I? My character's really starting to be stronger. And I love that. Restoring the greatest country in the world. Sorry, uh, I don't mean to wake you, Robert Downey Jr. I know you have a big part as Iron Man. I love you, 3000 Broski. All right, let's get up out of here so we can talk to Lucy. Okay, yeah, this is like, ow. I'm over here talking shit about dog meat fucking stepping on that, and I did the same thing. Sorry, dog meat. I digress. You're not the moron. I am. All right. It should be right around this corner. Right here. Okay, right here. All right, right here. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's get up out of here before we get irradiated to shit, dude. Woo! Awesome. 
I think that's the best possible outcome that you can get. I could be wrong, though. Um, Alright, let's go... Back to Megaton. And find homegirl Lucy. Hey there. Shut up, dude. Let's sleep for a few hours. Just until morning, basically. Ah, eh, that's good enough. I gotta find... Alright, how do I get up there? Um, this way? Maybe? I know this is Moira's place. Alright, yeah, I think, I think this is the best way. Then I go left right here. <clears throat> I, I normally go the other way for some reason. This way seems a hell of a lot faster. Let's see if she's even in here. Um, Lucy! Lucy! She's not even here. Let's leave for an hour. Nope, that's Jericho. Say that shit again. That's what I thought. There's no Lucy anywhere around here. Let's leave for another hour. Nope. Alright, let's try to find her outside. Wait, is that Lucy? Not you. Found her. Oh, fuck no. I'm not jumping down. Gotta keep an eye on her, though. Lucy, wait! Fuck, dude. How Alright. Actually, I think she might be coming up here. Yep. Alright, Lucy. I need to talk to you, homegirl. Hello there. Nice to see you. So, I delivered your letter to Ian. Oh, thank you for remembering. With everything that's going on, I almost forgot about it. You have no idea how much this means to me. Thanks so much. No problem. Later. Oh, okay. Well, anytime you find yourself back in Megaton, be sure and look me up. Will do. Alright, let's go to the house and take a nap. Oh, God, you scared me. You've done so much for us. I want you to have this. It's all I have to offer you. You don't have to give me nothing, but actually, you know what? Thank you. Certainly. <laughs> it's the least I could do after all you've done. I'll Earth, gladly take stim packs. To gather and behold the power. Let's get out of my way, Sims. Let's go home and take a nap. Because we are exhausted from so much traveling. Get out of my way, Wadsworth. Try to take a nap here. Perfect. Oh my god, dog meat. Love you to death, but you're always in my way. But that's gonna go ahead and do it for this video, guys. I want to keep going, uh, but in the next video, we're definitely gonna continue on with the main storyline. But as of now, we're definitely gonna have to stop because we're dangerously close to that one hour mark. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.